Can you charge two power stations off of one solar panel by using Y cables or splitter cables, some people call them, which are commonly used for paralleling solar panels? One of my members asked me this question today and I thought about it and I thought, well, I don't see why not. So if you had like a 400 watt panel and you tried to run it to two power stations, well each power station should in theory get half of the power from that panel. So I'm wondering, if I were to take say a 600 watt solar panel, connect up its leads to two Y cables so that I could then connect it up to a power station, would that work? Now one thing to consider is that those Y cables are designed so that the split cables go to two solar panels, not two power stations. So I'm going to have to take a look at the cables I have and see, can I connect them up in reverse and take that solar panel and split it going out the other way to give me two separate leads going to two separate solar panels. Can it be done? Let's go find out, folks. So I've got a cable here for my Opus Mega 1. It's got the Anderson connection on it. And we want to go two positive. So we're going to want one of those guys on this end. And then on the other end, we're going to want to go to negative. So it's going to be backwards. So let's do this one first. Make sure we get the right connectors here. I'm not a professional cable maker, folks. So <laughs> you have to accept my not greatest job here. It looks like that'll work. All right, now what we want to do is we want to go to negative. And the reason is we've got to connect up to the positive on this one, but because we've reversed those cables, those Y cables, we're going to have to go to this size here. And all we're doing here, folks, is we're just changing the gender of these cables so that I can connect them up backwards. I know that probably seems strange to do, but that's what we're going to do. So now we can actually connect these together like this. So we can go from going to positive, hooking up to negative. You'll see why here in a minute. Looks like we're pulling in over 90 watts. That is 101. All right, so 100 watts. So you can't really see that. Now, we are hooked up here. We've got the negative side, because I had to reverse these, going to a negative cable right here, going up to the XT60 port on the back of the Dabson, okay? Now, we're gonna hook up the second leads and plug those into a Pecron. Let's see what happens. All right, folks, so we have zero input watts here. I've got 80 watts on the other one. Oh, look, 36, 99. The sky is not cooperating real well. There you go, you see that? 49, 57, okay, that's your, that's your incoming power. Trying to get this lighting, folks, is terrible. Oh, look at that, 27 watts. And when we do that over there, there's 50. I'm trying to see if I can make this screen go a little brighter, but I'm seeing 59 right now. Look at that, oh, can you see that? We had, a, we had 100 there a second ago. So we're getting, um, we're actually splitting it. Uh, you know, I've got 52 right now over here, 67 over there. So we're splitting it. It does work. The light is kind of terrible. It's cloudy. That's a 600 watt panel. So I, you know, I would imagine we should be able to get a couple hundred watts out of it. So let's see what happens. There's 31. Over here we got 98. So if I unplug this, let's see what happens now. There's 98, 113 total there. I'll put this back in over here, 125 here. Here we go, oh, 214. This one is currently showing zero. 
So I did see it split the two um, for whatever reason right now. It's not working very well. I'm not going to say that this is the best way to go, folks. I'm telling you that right now. 250 watts coming in there. Now with this sunlight on the disconnected side, I'm getting almost 48 volts. What we can do is we can put an amp clamp on too and see what we're getting amperage wise. All right, we'll start over here. Got four amps, 4.9, it's going up, sun's coming out a little bit, okay. So it's like it's it's one is taking priority over the other one. This one right now is only showing next to nothing here. Well, folks, there you have it. Can you split a solar panel and charge two power stations at the same time? I think you can. <laughs> now, I say that because when I did it, I saw that they seem to bounce back and forth as if they're not drawing equally off of the panel. And I suspect that may have something to do with the power stations themselves and the MPPT charge controllers, though they should be quite simple, really. I have voltage, I have amperage, I'm going to go ahead and charge up. It's the way it should work, but I'm not so sure that splitting a solar panel and trying to drive two controllers at once is actually a good idea. And here's my thought on this. Why? In truth, if you get twice as much power by charging one power station at a time, and even if you got 50% power by splitting it, well, it's going to take you the same amount of time to charge both power stations up. So if it were me, I would use one panel with one power station, get it charged up, and then if I only have the one panel, I would switch that over to the other power station and charge it up. The time difference, well, there should be no time difference if it worked perfectly, but I didn't see that it worked perfectly. With my amp clamp, I saw that the Dabson was drawing up to five amps at a time when the Pecron was only drawing, well, half an amp to an amp at most, most of the time. Sometimes it almost seemed like they switched a little bit or both of them started drawing a little more power and maybe with better sunlight, I would have got better results. But I'm going to be honest with you. My thought is it's not worth doing it. There's really no value in splitting this panel. The reality is that you could just charge up each power station separately and do it just as fast as if you could split the panel 50-50. And of course the best option, two solar panels, one for each power station. And I want to thank Terrell for making the suggestion. Thank you very much for that. It was kind of a fun experiment to do, and I thought it would work, but I also thought, I'm not sure that it's a good idea. So now we know whether you can do it or not. So thank you, Terrell, for that. I appreciate that. And anyone else, if you've got ideas that you'd like me to test and you don't want to blow your power stations up, go ahead, throw them my way in the comments down below. I'm happy to try it out. Thanks again, and thanks to all my members. I really appreciate your support. Folks, I'm going to drop another video right over here just for you to check out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. The old jar head out.